What is the Nigeria dream? Ah, Jackpa, Jackpa, hey, Jackpa, Jackpa. Everybody wants to Jackpa. Everybody wants to. Oh yeah, give me the visa. I'm going. I just want to, you know, relocate. Um, say something in your in any um, Nigerian language. Okay, let me say something in Igbo. Um, I am Jennifer. Um, Abum Ma Abo. Oh. Trying to send my mother out. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. This is Mommy's Vlog by Jennifer, where I bring to you everything motherhood, lifestyle, and career. If you're a newbie, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, Please do so. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to do so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for staying tuned and subscribing to my channel. And of course, if you're an OD, if you're an OD, D, 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 hey, OD, D, 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 thank you for coming back again. Thank you for staying tuned. Now, let's get straight into this video. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube video um, regarding how Nigerian are you. So it's like a quiz game to, to ask you a few questions to really know how Nigerian you are. So today I thought, why not do a video like that? I mean, I left Nigeria when I was about 15 years old. Um, I go for visiting every now and then. Um, every two years, I, I tend to go. Um, so I, I really love the videos I've seen online. So I thought, why not take the quiz myself, you know? Um, some of the questions I see are very much some of the questions are already answered in my get to know me tag I'm going to leave one of the links up there so if you haven't watched that video please check out that video after this video go and check it out so let's get straight into it I really love it and I haven't answered the questions I haven't seen the questions I only looked at three of the questions um, and then and, and then I figured I know them so I thought you know what let me not even read the questions let me just chill out and do the video and read the questions with you guys so i have my phone here with me and let's get straight into this video so um i think one of the first thing is where you bought in nigeria again go and watch my um get to know me tag then you definitely know where i was born so um what is your favorite nigerian song i really don't have favorite songs i think maybe at the moment what i'm really feeling is um Ladi pope I love the way I'm feeling now. Uh, hey, how come use your reggae boy and my blues and redeem? Eh, no. Um, I also love rock from Ola from Olamide. Girl, I just want me rock. Girl, I just want me um. Girl, I just want. Anyway, yeah. Um, what is the best way to identify a Nigerian? For me, the best way I identify Nigerians are one, their accent. Um, two, sometimes the way they behave. The way they look their name their name yeah number one is their name actually name accent and sometimes the way they behave um what is the best kept secret about nigeria what's the best kept secret about nigeria i'm not sure do we have any secrets in nigeria let me know hey it's like i'm feeling this in my hand and i am test what's the best kept secret in nigeria i really don't know is there any secret What's the biggest misconception about Nigerians that all of us are 419, that um, we are not truthful, we, I don't know, deep people or something? I don't know. But that's a, a very huge misconception. That's not true. Um, that's not true at all. Um, what do you dislike about Nigeria? I think everything, the government. Our government bad. It's, I, I was trying to sing that for last song, but it's not coming to my head right now. Like the government is just horrible. Like I just feel like people get into politics to just eat. Eat the national moe moe. Chop the national cake. I chop my own. You chop your own. My government will not chop our own. It just feels like people go into government just to eat, get their share of the national cake, and move. They don't do anything. I don't know if you guys, I was trying to see if I can find it online. The video of where... Um, I think in Benin City, they were trying to do a gutter. How can you just dig hole and start to plaster the walls? When erosion comes, you just literally take everything up. Like, who does that? I don't understand. For me, it's the government. It's the government. What is the Nigeria dream? Ah, Jackpa. Jackpa. Hey, Jackpa. Jackpa. Everybody wants to Jackpa. Everybody wants to. Oh, yeah. Give me the visa. I'm going. I just want to, you know, relocate. 
I think the Nigerian dream is for everybody to leave that country, really. Quite a lot of people want to relocate. Or at least, if you don't want to relocate, you know, one of the Nigerian dreams is also to have another citizen passport, like the UK, the US, the Canadian passport, so that if anything, if anything just happens, any pass boost, you have, you know, jackpot. The end game, the end result is to jackpot. And then the second one will be like to make enough money, I think. Um, mention five Nigerian states. Ah, ah. Abia. Imo State. Lagos. Abuja. Potakot! Hey, that one is very easy now. Because I still remember our 36 states and capital. Abia, Umaya, Abekuta, Oya, Akwaibu. Hey, let me not come out for myself here. I've forgotten it's been ages ago. What do you say when the power comes on? Ah, up Nepa. Eh, 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 up Nepa. Up Nepa. Up Nepa. <laughs> Although they've changed the name from Nepa to PHCN now. But I still find, last time I was in Nigeria, I still find myself saying, ah, up Nepa, up Nepa. So funny. Anyway, so the next few questions says, mention five Nigerian landmark. I don't really know what landmark. To be honest, I don't really know. Oh my God. Maybe I just cut this part out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, hey, that's a sign to even cut it out. Nigerian file, mission for Nigerian landmarks. I really don't know to be honest, guys. Let me know what do you think. Um, you are going to a military din party close to the army barrack in Nigeria. Are you going to wear a camouflage? Eh? Come on, what? Come on, no, no, nah, you want to die, auntie, brother. You want to kill yourself? No, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, you can't wear a camouflage because that's the that's the army uniform. Yeah, you want to drop a a a a a. a what do they call it? Is it frog jump? I will roll yourself around the mud. No, no. Respect yourself. You cannot wear a camouflage. In fact, I don't even think camouflage is allowed in Nigeria. You're not allowed to wear camouflage in public. So, no. The Ivy says August should be seated by 10 a.m. What time are you arriving? Ah, it's now our DNA now. 10 a.m. means 12, p 12, 12 noon. Do you understand? On a very good day, 10 a.m. is 12 noon. Then on a very, depending on who the person is, depending on what party it is, 10 a.m. or roughly should be like 2 p.m. That's when you show to the party. You understand? 10 a.m. is not 10 a.m. in a Nigerian party. Yeah? There's always open. Because even if you even show at 10 a.m., the, the organizers, at that time, they are still trying to, you know, do the flowers. The caterers are bringing in the food. So 10 a.m. is not 10 a.m. I think that's an African thing, actually, which is actually not a very good thing. Uh, what's Nigerian official party food? Ah, jollof. You know? That's what they call it. Smoky party jollof rice. Ah! There's no party without jollof. Nah, how will you do a party without jollof? You say, check it. Is it good? Is it fair? So it's definitely jollof rice. What do you say when you are doing a sound check? Ah, one, two, one, two. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Say hello. Check one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And um, what's the Nigerian term for commercial motorcycle? Okada. Yeah, am I right? Okada. I'll be back. It's definitely Okada. Now. It's not bike, Abi. Let me know if it's bike or Okada. No, it's definitely Okada. It's Okada. Or is it Keke? No, Keke is the little one that is like that looks like a mini boss. You know, it got the covering. I think it's definitely bike or Okada. Um, um your your auntie is visiting from the village. Which traveling bag is she carrying? Back then, it's Ghana must go bag because that's what they put the full stop in that they are bringing from the village to the city. So it's definitely Ghana must go bag. How do you open a bottle of soda? How do you open it? Okay, there are two ways. Yeah, yeah. Is that you use your <laughs> is that you use your teeth, or you use the edge of a table, or use an opener? As a typical Nigerian, which one would you use? I most likely would use the edge of a table. But you get that's what we most likely we use. Um, what is the general term for drinks like Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, Amerinda, Mineral? Madam, give me Minera. Then she will ask you, which one do you want? Pepsi or Coke or Fanta? Then you tell her which one you actually want. It's Minera. Like, all of them. It's one category. It's Minera. Um, you have visitors. What is your mommy sending you to buy? Again, Minera, Malt, Fanta, Coke. One of those ones. Um, pronounce the following words. Oil. Yam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. Teacher. Faster. Injunction. I hope I sound Nigerian enough. Um, what do you call tissue paper? Toilet paper? I don't know what, what, what does a typical Nigerian call tissue paper? It's not toilet paper. I don't know. Uh, toilet paper, right? 
And my tissue paper is toilet paper. Abby? Let me know what is tissue? What do you call tissue paper as a typical Nigerian? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, let's see. Um, mm, I think I've answered quite a lot of the questions already. Who is your favorite Nigerian personality? Do I really have a favorite Nigerian personality? I'm just trying to think. I don't think I do. Who is your favorite Nigerian personality? Well, at the moment, I really don't have any. I don't have any. I'm, I'm, I find it really hard to have favorite food, favorite music, favorite musician. Anything favorite, I really find really hard to have. Um, so I don't really know. And um, what is the meaning of your traditional name? So if you've watched my um, Get to Know Me tag, you know that I mentioned my Nigerian names and their meaning. So I'm not going to say, I'm not going to answer that question now. So go and watch that video. I'm going to leave the link up here again so you can watch the video and you can get to know me a little bit more. Um, have you ever been to Nigeria? Of course, of course. I'm a, I'm a full blown Nigeria babe. Like, of course, I tend to go to Nigeria very often. I was there in, I was there 2020 Christmas. I was there um, 2018, 2018. I was there 2017. I mean, we're in 2021 now. I might go this Christmas. Am I not? Um, again, yeah, I go very, quite, I go very often. Um, do you live in Nigeria? I do not live in Nigeria. As you can see, I am based in the UK, but I am Nigerian. Um, I think that's all the questions, really. Yeah. Okay, there's one more. Results are out. You are second in your class. What's your mom's comment? I mean, personally, I think if I came second, which I never did while I was in school. Actually, no, I came second once. And then I was always between the 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 9th or 10th. So I was always between the 5th or 10th person in the class. I think sometime in just one or two, I came second. But anyway, my mom really didn't really say anything. As far as I don't go more than 10, I don't think my mom was very much the kind of mom that really emphasized on, ah, you must take number one, you must take first. As far as you're doing good generally, um, that's fine. That's fine. So she wouldn't really say much, to be honest. I don't think she would say much. Um, what do you eat when you are broke? and hungry as a typical Nigerian noodles indomie I don't know indomie or gari and granuts or bread and granuts but I personally would probably eat indomie indomie and egg if I'm like dead broke 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 I've never been dead broke in my life Sha. um let's see let's see what do you love most about Nigeria I think for me what I really like about Nigeria is the and I, I think we know how to socialize. I mean, when I recently moved from Nigeria to join my dad about the age of 16, guys, I struggled with socializing. I think I like the fact that Nigeria social family life is very great. I mean, with you, not just with your immediate family, I mean, like with your extended family at some point. I know it's gone down recently, you know, because everybody is living on their life and they are. Um, yeah, money their business but i really like the social life in nigeria like when i'm going to nigeria nigeria is a flexing zone for me i really love that about nigerians that we know how to socialize um a lot so i like that and we always we tend to be our brother's keeper quite a lot of the time which is good as well um so i think i'm going to stop here guys i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know from scale zero to eight and let me know how Nigerian you think I am. Actually, they're saying here, yeah, um, say something in your in any um, Nigerian language. Okay, let me say something in Igbo. Um, ah, what would I say that would make sense? Okay, let me let me introduce myself in Igbo. Ahambu Jennifer. Um, Abum Ma Abo. Oh, Jineke. I'm trying to say I'm a mother of two. Mm, that one will not work. So I humble Jennifer. Um, Ashim Imo State. Hey Jesus, don't disgrace yourself. Hey, I know how to speak. Okay, I humble Jennifer. Um, Anomna England. Um, um, hey, oh Jesus, like even I just scraped out of my head now. Um, I like the um, music. Um okay, scrap that, scrap that, scrap, scrap, scrap that. And uh, let me speak something in Ibu. Kiliku Nudi. 
um kelo kidi odima a humble jennifer eh anoma anoma england awom umaji abo um aha ha bu ana marie and amiria um echinile agmaga here um chavizili rice my gari my oye my mantimo guys i tried that's the one you get for me. if you want to if you want me to do a video on if you want me to do like a short video a short video speaking Igbo, let me know i, I speak a little bit of i speak a bit of Igbo and binibo i understand more better than i speak but anyway that's the end of this video let me know if you like it rate my nigerianness from zero being the least to ten being the highest how nigerian do you think i am again thank you very much for watching my video um i hope you guys enjoyed it so please please don't forget to subscribe see you bye